In this video I'm going to show you a few more useful things uh, that you'll need to know when dealing with uh, referencing files. Um, most notably embedding the file, which is uh, to take the file and actually um, drop it within the Illustrator file itself so that Illustrator won't be accessing it from a, a folder in a different location on your computer, but it will actually be in your Illustrator file. Now what that does is it makes your Illustrator file a lot bigger, um, exactly um, the size of your uh, JPEG, your uh, reference file bigger, that is. Um, and the, bo the bonus of links is that you're able to deal with many, many different reference files, but still maintain a very small file size um, with your, your main Illustrator file. Now that's important because if you end up with an Illustrator file full of uh, embedded uh, images as you would in Photoshop, you can be dealing with um, a file that might end up being a gigabyte and your computer just won't be able to handle it in many situations. Some computers can, but it's very good practice to make sure um, that you reference files where possible. It'll increase the speed of your uh, editing process and there's nothing worse than coming up to a deadline and having your computer crash because the files are just too big. Now that being said, uh, when you move the file from one location to another, perhaps you're sharing it digitally with uh, um, some friends, or you're just uh, saving it onto a USB, uh, you might want to embed those files. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In your links menu, over here, you select your uh, image, this is the nighttime render, and pop down to the um, different options here. Now I'll update link, uh, just checks the file again and make sure that it's the most recent reference in case you've updated it uh, just that second. Go to link, open it up in Photoshop, edit original of course, and relink means you can uh, replace it with a completely new link, but if you want to, it must be up here, embed that link, you get onto embed image. And if you've embedded your image you get the small icon there that indicates it has been embedded. And we can do the same with this one, embed. And there we go. Once embedded, though, you cannot uh, unembed, or you can relink it by replacing that file, which will essentially delete it out of the Illustrator file, and uh, you can relink it with the other um, reference file, which will be in your folder. Okay, it's pretty confusing stuff, a bit to get your head around. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us.